so the PCB cut through we're going to be doing using a zona saw but you can always use a, a hacksaw blade and uh, just work for it slowly or alternatively something like a rotary tool like a Dremel or a Proxon. So first thing I did was I, I cut through these cables which are unfortunately coloured the same even though they're positive and negative. So I'd highly recommend before you do things like this, or soon after, you colour one of the wires in and then make a little mark on the PCB so that you know where it came from and uh, what polarity it is. Again, these are all things you kind of learn from experience because you've done it once and uh, you regret not doing it sooner. So that means we can lift the PCB out. I actually removed one of the screws earlier. Um, and then you'll have something along the lines of probably one of these little prism lenses and obviously keep that nice and safe and out of the way. So the next trick I'd say to do is flip it over and have a look at the, the tracking, the, which is basically little lines of copper, which don't look like copper because they've been covered with a, a mask, a lacquer, if you like, which resists the solder. Um, and that gives it its green colour. But underneath, <coughs> as you'll see later on, we'll scratch this off and uh, reveal the copper. But for now, what you need to do is, these will vary from uh, USB mouse to mouse, and you'll need to find the most convenient place to cut through the printed circuit board, which doesn't cut through any of the major components, and at the same time gives you the sort of minimum effort in putting connections back together between things. So one of the tricks I found is that uh, it can get a little bit hard to trace things round, and uh, alternatively, if you also want to have a look on the underside, it's quite helpful to have one of these little lights, or you can just hold it up to a desk lamp, and that allows you to see the tracking underneath, and just double check where everything is going. And again, for a little bit of careful inspection for five minutes, you can find you save yourself a lot of time later in working through all of this. So I'm going to go away and cut through this now, and uh, I'll be back soon.